heard and see. Cody, you know who you are. If you watch this, I am so, so sorry. I've just got to cleaning my desk off. It's been buried in papers forever. Uh, and I got to your letter that you wrote me. It don't show a date, but I know it's been a while. I am so sorry for being late for this, buddy. I'll send you a hat. I am so sorry. And shirt. Uh, well, I'll send you a hat. I don't know what your shirt size is. But, and some stickers. I'm so sorry. You depended on Logger Wade, and Logger Wade let you down. But I'm going to read this out for everybody. I've not read this yet. I just seen and started to read it and realized this is going to be an emergency. I'm not going to say name, some names. My name is Cody blank. I am in eighth grade at blank middle school. Our math for life class, we are researching a job that we are interested in. I really like logging because my family has a logging company and I've been watching your YouTube channel for a while now. I have some questions for you. What training and or education do I need for this job? What are some pros and cons of the job? And how do you use math in your job? Boy, them some deep questions. Well, Cody, I'm not that broad of a feller. Hang on. <laughs> Give me just a second, buddy. Okay, let me answer question number one. I've had just a second to think about it. I've not thought about it long. So I'm going to kind of wing it. Um, question number one is what training and or education do I need for this job? It depends on what level you're trying to work at. If you're trying to just, uh, if you're trying to, uh, number one, you got to like the job. You got to love that this job is a job that will wear you out. You got to love this job. And uh, logging's a sickness. It's not a, it's not a uh, career. It's a life. Logging is a life. It's not a career. I grew up in the industry. You don't have to. I don't think it's so. Anybody that ain't growing up in the industry, don't be turned off by this. You don't have to grow up in it. You got to love it. You got to fall in love with this job. This job will wear you out. So you have to fall in love with the job or don't even start. It's too dangerous. It's too unrewardful. Uh, now you can be rewarded quite well, but you have to pull out a bunch of strings and do it from a bunch of different angles and get a diversified portfolio. You can't be successful, successful at just that. I shouldn't say can't. A smart person can. I'm not broad enough to answer that right. Uh, a smart person probably can, but it's, that's somebody above my intelligence level. I would think training that would be nice to have. Math is your number one. That's the most important subject you're taking in that whole school system, in my opinion, is math. Algebra, geometry, you know, stuff like that. That is number numero uno, in my opinion. Uh, if you're going to try to run a logging company, you're going to need a business, you know, you're going to need some business education that I don't have. Thank goodness I married somebody with it. Uh, and mom and dad come from a long line of running their own business, the uh, Hard Knocks way. But my wife's got a business degree. Uh, I think that's important if you're going to run it. Now, you, your significant other can have that sort of thing. You know, a lot of loggers is not built with it good business degree. You know what I mean? A lot of loggers are built mechanical. They're built to understand physics. They're, they're, they're to solve real world problems uh, that's happening in the field. But there's a weakness there to running a company. So you have to have somebody that can run a company. It can be you or it can be somebody that you're with, you know. Um, I hope that kind of answers that. And a forestry degree. It'd be nice to have a forestry degree. I don't have it. I'm underqualified in that respect, but be mechanical, have a forester. It all depends on what angle you're coming in. You come into it on many different angles. Some people loves being outside. They come into it from that angle. Some people loves machinery. They come into it, like me, they come into it from that angle. Uh, some people, like my old man, just likes to win. He comes into it from, <laughs> from sheer determination. He comes into it, you know. You can come into it from many different angles. Question number two. 
What are some pros and cons of this job? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, the pros are pro, pro, pros in my mind. All the way down to fixing broken equipment, to making a tree do what you want, to doing BMPs to where you finish a job, you come in, you harvest a tract of timber, and you pull out, and the job turns out beautiful. To get to see regeneration come back behind you and to actually help that property become worth more money. That's a big pro. Uh, that takes practice. And that takes intelligent people being involved to make that work out that way. Getting the feeling of belonging to a community. That's a pro. Hmm. And to have a job that's different every single day. That's a pro. Now let's go to the cons. You work insane hours. You work through the weekends a lot of times. You work very hard at times. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's pretty easy work. But sometimes you're working really hard. You work in adverse conditions. You work in very dangerous conditions if you're hand cutting. The job can be very stressful. Very stressful. But it's only as stressful as you make it. If you're trying to succeed in life and you get and you know you're trying to make things better than what they are, you're trying to make change, you're trying to be a winner then it's going to be stressful, all right? Now, if you let stuff roll off of you, if you think, if you feel like life happens to you instead of you create life, you know, you make life happen, there's two types of people. There's people that lets life happen to them, and there's type of people that makes their life happen. Now, if you're a make-your-life-happen type of guy, and you keep pushing yourself, you'll get stuff complicated enough where it gets really stressful, and that can be a con. Uh... But it's also a pro, because if you're a type of guy that wants to make your life happen to you, if you want to make your life happen, excuse me, then that can be a pro also. The con can be a pro. So it just depends, uh, you know, how you take life. Me, I try to make my life happen. I'm not the type of guy that feels like life happens to me. And that's one thing you really got to ask yourself no matter what you're going into. The last question is, how do you use math in your job? <laughs> oh, boy. The question would be better, how do you not use math? Because everything you do in life, you use math to do it. I don't know what careers there are out there that don't use math, but I don't know where they're at. They have never been careers I've come across. You are constantly trying to upgrade value when you're actually, okay, figuring bids. You got to do math to figure bids. You got to figure out what the timber's worth, what you're going to put on it, what your, pro what your uh, costs are of the job, and what you intend to make with the job. And all that stuff has to be... Uh, worked against each other. The figures, one figure's pulling down, one figure's pulling up. So you got to, you know, some figures are pulling down, some figures are pulling up. And that's how you figure your job. So that's what gets you the job is math. Um, now, after you have the job and you move in to work the job, math becomes important because you're constantly trying to figure out what links to, to cut things, what links to make your logs to... Uh, you're trying to decide what length to make your logs and stuff so you know to make the most value. I know I'm kind of stumbling over myself. I don't know how to explain that properly. You're constantly trying to upgrade. So everything you do, there's math involved. Every decision you make while you're harvesting, while you're bucking logs, while you're, uh, uh, your fuel mileage and stuff and how fast you even drive, push your equipment because of how much fuel 
you're guzzling, how much the fuel costs. You know, all these costs, everything is math. It's all math. Everything you do out there is math. If you can hide from doing math, you're doing a pretty small job. And the more math you can do, the bigger the piece of the pie you can take home to your family or the bigger task you can handle. But it's all about math. All them questions people can't answer, it takes math to answer, you know. Um, when you get back to the mill, there, it's a the sawmill is just a big math game. All day long in the sawmill, you're taking pieces of a board, you're quickly working out the prices of certain parts of the log or certain faces of the log or certain pieces of the board, and you're chopping, hewing, hacking, trimming, edging, turning, uh, debarking, chipping. You're doing everything you can do, every little knickknack you can do to try to make that log that you paid, that tree that you paid for on the stump to be worth the at most value it can be worth just to make a living. So yes, uh, to anybody, any kid out there taking math, to me, history is important too. All the subjects are important. Uh, <laughs> I can't speak for English because I'm not a good English student and uh, I don't feel like it's held me back that much in life. I'm sure it's held me back way more than I understand. But math, 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 math. Everything to do with math. Get obsessed with math.